welcome! Today we are on the Minecraft SMB 1.20 survival server. And here I'm standing on something I call Axolotl Island. This is the island I made uh, a time ago, the dragonfly and the flying axolotls. You can actually see it in the video. Today I'm gonna work on the big dragonfly with his own dome. Now, on this server, it is a survival server, but I do have the fly perk, and the reason is, I just love to build things in the sky, and it's just faster. If I just have to tower up and down, or make platforms, it's just gonna cost me a lot of time. And everything I build, or most of the things I build, I build first in netherrack, and when I have the 3D shape, I actually go into a stage of coloring in the build. Now, in this build, it's more of a nether, hot feeling. So that's why I'm trying to make a small volcano. I'm not gonna finish this one today. I'm just gonna lay out the shape of it. And this is how the dome looks like. Now I'm building in the 1.20 area. Most of the members are in the 1.19 area. So I got a lot of space around me. And here I'm standing inside my base that nowadays I call my home. This is like the headquarters of the dome. Basically it's in the middle of my item sort. I think a lot of people know what this item sort is. It's basically the item sort from Impulse and I've seen in a video from Pixel Riff that he used the barrels on top of it for extra items or shulker boxes. So I really liked that and I used it. Now I love this dome. This dome is all about water and color and relaxed feeling. I absolutely love building trees and custom trees. Of course I had to put them in somehow into the dome, but I think it worked out. And this is the reason I took the spot on the server for this view. I can't wait to build something on those mountains. As far as you can call a build finished and done, I think this dome is pretty much there to be quite honest. Everything is decorated, has its own place. So if we go up here, I built a little uh, library or studio. that You can actually read something, you can look over into the dome. You can even go a little bit higher and there is uh, a place to chill out. Maybe have your lunch or whatever. That's kind of the story of this build. And underneath here is like a, the, the water part of the dome. And I made here an underwater themed build. I just use a lot of colors for the coral, for the little fish, a lot of light. Now there are some axolotls in here as well, but I think they're hiding most of the time. I really, really wanted to add were the stingrays. I've built them before, but I just love them. And this is a fun uh, experience. It's safe. I promise it's safe. No glass underneath there, Chris, at this time. <laughs> I kind of killed him. I placed the glass block. He didn't see it. He jumped down and it, um, <clears throat> he went splat. Now, the area is still quite empty. I would love to fill it in. I just need to find the time for it. I'm also um, building on a solo world. I got a playlist on my YouTube, but I'm trying to, um, to beat the Ender Dragon. And here is a very easy and small uh, sniffer farm. Got the flowers, you can make the eggs. Of course, decorated with your cherry trees. Very pink. Well, I hope you kind of like this kind of an update from the server. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time in a new video.